An engine that was both everything Mac ever dreamed of and everything it never wanted to admit. The MP-10 represented the pinnacle of big block diesel power, a 16.1 liter straight six that could produce an earth moving 685 horsepower and 2,300 pound feet of torque. It was officially the most powerful conventional truck engine in the world when it debuted in 2008. But here's where the story gets complicated. While the MP-10 bore the iconic Mack Bulldog badge and carried on the tradition of legendary engines like the E9V8, it was actually based on Volvo's D16 platform. This created an identity crisis that would define the engine's entire existence. Was it a true Mack power plant or a Swedish engine in American clothing? From 2008 to 2017, the MP-10 powered Mack's most hardcore applications in the Titan heavy-duty truck. It proved that even in an era of corporate ownership and shared platforms, there was still room for engines that prioritized raw power over everything else. This is the story of Mack's last great big block. Historical Context and Development the Mack MP-10 emerged from a company grappling with its identity in the modern trucking world. By the mid-2000s, Mack had been owned by Volvo for nearly a decade, and the pressure was mounting to leverage the Swedish giant's engineering capabilities while maintaining the distinctly American character that made Mack legendary. Mack had built its reputation on big block engines, the massive E9 V8 that powered superliners and the torque-rich Maxidyne engines that revolutionized trucking in the 1960s. But emissions regulations and fuel economy demands were making traditional big displacement engines increasingly difficult to justify. The trucking industry was moving towards smaller, more efficient power plants, and Mack needed something special to maintain its position in heavy-duty applications. The solution came from an unlikely place, Volvo's own 16-liter D16 engine platform. Originally developed for European heavy-duty applications, the D16 offered the displacement and power potential that Mack needed for its most demanding customers. But rather than simply rebadging the Volvo engine, Mack's engineers embarked on an extensive development program to create something distinctly American. The MP-10 project began around 2005, with Mack conducting extensive testing and validation work. The goal wasn't just to meet power targets, it was to create an engine that would satisfy the most demanding customers in applications like logging, mining, heavy construction, and oil field work. These were operators who had grown up with Mack's legendary reliability and expected nothing less from any engine wearing the Bulldog badge. The Golden Age When the MP-10 debuted in 2008 powering the new Mack Titan, it immediately established itself as the king of conventional truck engines. The numbers were staggering. 16.1 liters of displacement, producing up to 685 horsepower and 2,300 pound-feet of torque. No other conventional truck engine could match those specifications. The logging industry embraced the MP-10 with particular enthusiasm. Operators hauling massive loads of timber through mountainous terrain found an engine that could maintain highway speeds with gross combination weights that would overwhelm lesser power plants. The MP-10's torquey curve was perfectly matched to the demands of steep grades and heavy loads. Massive low-end torque for getting started, with power that continued building all the way to peak RPM. Mining operations discovered similar advantages. Equipment hauling ore, overburden, and heavy machinery needed engines that could handle sustained operation under maximum load. The MP-10's robust construction and advanced cooling systems made it ideal for the dust, heat, and constant heavy loading that characterized mining environments. Oil field applications proved equally demanding and equally suitable for the MP-10's capabilities. Hauling drilling equipment, pipe, and other oil field hardware required engines that could deliver reliable power in remote locations where breakdowns meant costly delays. 
The MP10's combination of raw power and sophisticated engine management systems provided the reliability these operations demanded. The distinctive sound of an MP10 underload became the soundtrack of serious heavy-duty work, a deep, purposeful rumble that announced maximum capability was being deployed. Technical brilliance? The Mac MP10 represented sophisticated modern diesel engineering applied to the challenge of extracting maximum power from a single overhead cam inline six-cylinder design. While based on Volvo's D16 platform, Max engineers made significant modifications to create an engine optimized for American heavy-duty applications. The foundation was a massive cast-iron block designed to handle the enormous stresses of producing 685 horsepower from 16.1 liters of displacement. At approximately 38 horsepower per liter, the MP10 achieved the optimal balance between specific power output and durability. The single overhead cam design kept mechanical complexity manageable while allowing for precise valve timing control. Fuel injection was handled by Max VMAC 4 engine management system, which provided electronically controlled unit injectors for each cylinder. This system allowed for precise fuel metering and injection timing optimization across the engine's operating range. The result was an engine that could produce massive power while meeting stringent US-07 emission standards through the use of diesel particulate filters and SCR after treatment. The turbocharging system used a wastegate-controlled turbocharger rather than variable geometry technology, providing robust and reliable boost control. This choice reflected Mac's focus on durability in severe service applications where complexity could become a liability. Cooling system design was critical given the engine's power output. The MP10 featured an extensive cooling package with radiators exceeding 1,750 square inches of frontal area designed to handle the heat rejection requirements of sustained high power operation in extreme environments. Most importantly, the engine featured harmonically balanced camshafts and sophisticated vibration dampening to minimize noise, vibration, and harshness, creating a surprisingly refined power plant despite its massive output. Challenges rise from the beginning. The MP10 faced a fundamental challenge that would define its entire existence. The question of authenticity. While Mac engineers had extensively modified and validated the engine for American applications, critics and competitors were quick to point out its Volvo D16 origins. This created an identity crisis that the engine could never fully escape. Fleet operators who had grown up with legendary Mac engines like the E9V8 questioned whether the MP10 represented genuine Mac engineering or simply Swedish technology wearing American badges. The engine's exceptional performance capabilities couldn't entirely overcome concerns about corporate ownership and platform sharing. Traditional Mac customers wanted engines that were uniquely American, and the MP10's European roots created credibility challenges. Technical issues also emerged as the engine matured. Early versions suffered from problems common to the Volvo D16 platform, including injector cup failures and turbocharger reliability concerns. While these issues were addressed through engineering updates and improved components, they reinforced perceptions that the MP10 was essentially a Volvo engine with Mac branding. Emissions compliance became increasingly challenging as regulations tightened. The MP10's high power output required sophisticated after-treatment systems that added complexity and cost. SCR systems, diesel particulate filters, and complex engine management software created maintenance challenges that some traditional Mac customers found problematic. Market dynamics were also shifting against big block engines. Fuel economy concerns and environmental regulations were pushing the industry towards smaller, more efficient power plants. Even applications that had traditionally demanded maximum power were beginning to prioritize fuel efficiency and total cost of ownership over raw capability. 
Perhaps most significantly, the trucking industry was consolidating around fewer, more standardized engine platforms. The days when manufacturers could justify unique big-block engines for specialized applications were ending, and even Mac's most loyal customers were questioning whether the MP10's advantages justified its complexity and cost. The transition. The end came suddenly for the MP10, though the writing had been on the wall for several years. In 2017, Mac announced that the Titan would be discontinued, taking the MP10 engine with it. The decision marked the end of Mac's big block engine tradition and represented a fundamental shift in the company's strategic direction. The immediate reason was market demand, or rather, the lack thereof. Despite its impressive capabilities, the MP10 had never achieved significant sales volumes, the applications that required its extreme power output were limited, and most operators were finding that smaller, more efficient engines could handle their needs while delivering better fuel economy and lower operating costs. Emissions regulations were becoming increasingly stringent, and the complexity required to make big displacement engines compliant was becoming economically unviable. The after-treatment systems needed for the MP10 to meet EPA requirements added substantial cost and complexity, while newer engine technologies promised better compliance with lower costs. Corporate strategy also played a role. Volvo Group was consolidating its engine lineup around fewer, more efficient platforms that could be shared across multiple brands and markets. The MP10's limited sales volume and unique requirements made it difficult to justify continued investment in an era of tight development budgets and increasing regulatory compliance costs. The replacement strategy was telling. Instead of developing another big block engine, Mac encouraged customers to consider the 13-liter MP8 for most applications with the understanding that modern engine technology could provide adequate power for nearly all real-world requirements. For the few applications that truly required maximum power, customers were directed toward alternative solutions. The discontinuation represented more than just the end of one engine. It marked the conclusion of Mac's 100-year tradition of developing unique, application-specific power plants. The company that had pioneered high-torque engines and revolutionized heavy-duty trucking was acknowledging that the era of specialized big blocks was over. Legacy and Modern Reality The Mac MP10 achieved something remarkable and tragic simultaneously. It proved that big-block diesel engines could still be relevant in the modern trucking industry, even as it demonstrated why they were ultimately doomed. Five years after production ended, the engine's legacy remains complex and contradictory. For operators still running MP10-powered equipment, the engine continues to deliver the exceptional performance that made it legendary. Logging operations, heavy construction companies, and specialized haulers report that these engines remain capable of handling loads and applications that challenge modern alternatives. The raw power and torque characteristics that define the MP10 can't be easily replicated by smaller, more efficient engines. The maintenance and support infrastructure has evolved to support long-term operation of existing engines. Specialist rebuild facilities have developed comprehensive programs for refurbishing MP10s to like new specifications, often incorporating improved components and updated calibrations. Parts availability remains excellent, with both OEM and aftermarket suppliers maintaining comprehensive inventories. However, the MP10's Volvo heritage continues to complicate its reputation among traditional Mac loyalists. While the engine performed admirably in service, many operators never fully accepted it as a real Mac engine. This perception issue has affected resale values and market acceptance compared to engines with more established Mac pedigrees. The engine's influence on subsequent Mac development has been minimal, Rather than leading to improved big block designs, the MP10's limited commercial success convinced Mac to focus entirely on smaller, more efficient platforms. 
The lessons learned from the MP10 program were applied to improving the MP7 and MP8 engines rather than developing new big displacement alternatives. The Mac MP10 proved that even the most powerful engines can't overcome market realities. In our efficiency-obsessed world, was there still room for engines that prioritize power over everything else? Share your thoughts and subscribe for more stories of mechanical might.